Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Vinland, where we just finished two wars. We took a whole bunch of land from Portugal and Castile and England. And I'm currently building some more trade fleets so that we can go transfer more trade. We got a 12th merchant, I guess, from, uh, right, from our colonial Peru colony. We got a 12th merchant there, and I decided to send him to Malacca, where we own... Oh, no, we don't own one of the important centers of trade. Whatever. I sent him to Malacca. We have a couple provinces here, and we could potentially expand our influence in Malacca. We probably should. And the idea is we have the Philippines trade, which is pushing to Panama. And from the Malacca trade, we're going to send a merchant there. Malacca goes to Zanzibar. Zanzibar, we can push to Cape. Cape, we can push to Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast pushes to the Caribbean. Caribbean pushes to Chesapeake. Chesapeake pushes to our capital. Our capital has the most trade in the world. So long as we keep pushing trade there, we can keep starving the Europeans. And that's all I really want to do is starve Europe. I was thinking about maybe sending some fleets over to China to help push more trade to the Philippines, but the problem is pushing trade to the Philippines doesn't really get much done. The Philippines only has one input node, and that's Canton. We already have a merchant in Canton. Canton only has one input node, and that's Chengdu. Chengdu only has one input node, and that's Lhasa. Lhasa has no input nodes. Which means the only trade that goes to the Philippines from Asia, the only trade that goes to the Philippines from Asia is Lhasa, Chengdu, Canton. And that's, eh, it's something. It's better than nothing, but it's not very much. The really, really, really important center of trade over here is Hangzhou. Hangzhou has wonderful, wonderful flexibility. It can retrieve, it can receive trade from Nippon and Canton. So it can receive the trade from Southern China and from Japan. And it pushes trade either to Northern China or to Malacca. So if we can take some land in Hangzhou, get control of Hangzhou, we can then direct Hangzhou trade to Malacca, and then that'll go all the way to our capital. We can't do that with the Canton trade very easily. The Canton trade is kind of blech. I really wish this game didn't have static trade nodes. Like, all of the trade nodes are set where they are for the entire game. For all 400 years of the game, the trade nodes stay static. And the direction that trade flows between those nodes is always static. And that really irks me. Like, if you're a dominant nation, you should be able to direct trade more ways that you want. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Anyway, let's continue on, shall we? We've colonized the coast of south or not south africa we've colonized the coast of australia again he's also colonizing on his own up here but we'll help him out because that's 11 base tax it's worth doing and i also want to go grab south island over here because it's got some nice base tax but we currently have a colonist en route to hawaii and we're going to need this army to go help them out so let's get this army on el boto i'll even put my king in there and we'll see if we can go help out with hawaii because hawaii is going to have huge revolt risks there's 5,000 natives here, and they are very, very aggressive. There we go. So let's go dock up in Hawaii. And we have a lot of the Pacific Islands under our control now. Most of that's just because of that last war with Portugal. He was colonizing a lot of it. We stole his colonies. And he had a lot of it already colonized, so we ate those lands. We're coring them right now. Or we are coring some of them right now. We have a ton of stuff that still needs to be cored. Like, the coring scroll bar is ridiculous. But it's only 12 over extension. So it's all good. There is some significant revolt risk in the world. Hmm. That's pretty bad revolt risk. Wow. Did I increase the autonomy in Canucht? I think I did. No, we, we weren't allowed to increase the autonomy in Canucht. Uh-oh. Well, that is a problem. So what's causing the revolt risk here? War exhaustion. I guess I could pay that down. Yeah, I'll pay the war exhaustion down. I just don't want to deal with this revolt risk. It's pretty crazy. All right, that'll help. What else can I do? Non-accepted culture. Can't do much about that. Intolerance of his religion. Can't do much about that. Religious unity. Overextension. War exhaustion. Not much I can do about any of that, really. 
I guess I could get rid of my inflation guy and go for... Nope. We don't have an advisor for lower revolt risk. Darn. And we need that inflation guy anyway. Hmm. Don't really have a whole lot of choices here. Access in Benin. Let's get rid of our access in Benin. That's just a waste of relationship there. Oh, Benin. I don't need you anymore, my friend. Alright, where's my transports? There they are. We're going to bring 30 dudes. Maybe, maybe not 30. No, we'll take 30. I'm going to bring 30 dudes to Granada, which is the land we just took from Castile. Get on El Boto. So nice. I love that we have this little foothold on continental Europe. It's a very tenuous foothold, but it's it's adorable. I'm loving it. And we need to go eat Cornwall before um, before it's too late. So I guess I'll send the transports up there. We can pick up this army and go eat Cornwall. Oh, oh, that's what we can do. We can go pick up guys here. No, 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 no. I should build this army. Do I have room for more armies? Oh, yeah. I can have like 60 more guys. Okay, let's build up this army. What do we have? 13. I guess give me 9 more soldiers and 8 more cannons. Start with that. Yay, colony done. We're going to want to colonize over here. I guess we'll go for the Alaskan coast. Why not? Why the hell not? Merchant arrived in Malacca. Very good. Have we arrived at Hawaii yet? Yeah, we're here. Okay. So our colony in Hawaii is going strong. Let's go pick up our troops from these Portuguese islands that we stole. Castile's improving relations with us. Oh, you're adorable. You are adorable, Castile. Let's give Russia some military access. Couldn't you kill your general, putting him in a transport, sending him out of the open seas, and letting him rot there? Uh, Nox Immortalis, that worked in EU3. That does not work in EU4. It does work for explorers. If you put an explorer on a boat, you I don't know why you want an explorer to die, but in case you did, you can put your explorer on a boat, send him out to open ocean, and he'll die there. But no other units will die like that. Go ahead and tech up. Oh, new trade ships next tech. Nice. That'll be good. Have we started funding the colonists again? Yes. Colonists are at full funding again. Mm-hmm. Wow, making 100 ducats on trade. What? Wow. All right, pick up these idiots. Vamos. Vamos a jugar. And pick up these idiots, too. Also. Keep on coring stuff. And what's with the revolt risk? English Patriots. I think I'm going to pay these guys down. 100 points, I'll take it. I just don't want to deal with this stuff. Our revolt risk will go away. It'll bleed away over time. And if we can get enough admin points saved up, we can bump up our stability. It's only 67 points. God, that's cheap. Wow. So since we're Norse, we get religious sacrifices, minus 20% to cost. 
We also went religious tech, religious idea group, which gives 25% cheaper cost. And we're trading in wine for another 25% bonus. Man, that's cheap. And that's even with a religious unity penalty and overextension penalty. Wow, that's cheap. We're never getting rid of our inflation because we constantly have ships full of gold coming in from the colonies. <laughs> that's both great and terrible. Our extension, our uh, inflation's never going to go away because of that shit. Yay, cores! Good. Next mission. Turn Wajuk into a city. Remove Miami from the map. Well, I mean, I could. Incorporate Scotland. I'll take the Wajuk mission. At least that's something I know I can do. I can set France as a rival, but I'm not going to do that. Did we change our government? No, we haven't. We really should, because it would help get it would help lower our autonomy. We could go admin monarchy, yeah. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is get my stability up to plus one. Next thing we're gonna do is Do I wanna change government? Well Tech twenty is a long way off. I think we should change our government, yeah. We're still focused on admin. Yep. Only getting nine points a month, though, because our king sucks at admin. God, our heir is so bad. Our heir needs to be a general. Our heir needs to die. Our heir desperately needs to die. Well, our king just died. Berger is our new heir. Local unrest. Wow. Our king just died. We're now at negative one stability. God damn it. Ah, three zero three. I mean, it's not bad. It's just very much below average. I hate below average kings. Why don't you use some power points to lower the inflation? Because we don't have any admin points. Inflation gets lowered with admin points. We need admin points to get stability up. I want to get stability up to plus one. We're at negative one right now. And we need to core a bunch of land, which costs admin points. Oh my god, we just got two more treasure fleets coming in. The inflation is real. Those treasure fleets, though. So many treasure fleets. New settlement, base tax in Hawaii. Now, is Hawaii considered North America? I don't think so. Bum, 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 bum. Regions. This is Oceania. So it, it's going to be 75 autonomy no matter what. So extra base tax doesn't really help me. The prestige doesn't help either, but whatever. I'll take, I guess I'll take the one base tax. Portugal's improving relations. Oh, that's adorable. Finished a colony, okay. Move up the coast. It takes a long time to arrive at these places. I wonder if my colonies are going to start attacking the Inca. They really should. They really should, because the Inca... Are you? Have you westernized? No, they're still not westernized. Okay, Cord St. Martin, Cord Maguana, very good. You know what? He probably won't colonize... Or he probably won't attack them until he's got some good religious unity going. And he's just barely getting Norse spread, so he's got a long way to go before he starts attacking stuff. Yeah, it makes sense. Are we going to conquer all of Europe? No. The plan for this campaign is to conquer Scandinavia and bring the Norse religion back home. Trading in coffee happened to us. That's nice. I am a fan of coffee after all. 
66 points to improve our stability. All right. We really need to get stability up to plus one because that'll lower our revolt risk everywhere massively. Cherokee has Western eyes. Well, congratulations, Cherokee. Have our trade ships, trade ships built yet? Some of them have. Let's build some more. Why are we colonizing worthless Alaska? Why not? Why the hell not? Do you think you can full annex England before the ending? Oh, yeah. Psh, England's almost dead. We've been annexing England like every 15 years. We go to war to eat more of him. Wow. Max relations with France are 93. Ugh. And that's with bonuses for being in a war together recently. Wow, so he's upset neighboring religion, allied to rival, has a CB, aggressive expansion, but that'll go away. Conquered rival province will go away as well. Wow. So we're going to lose 21 relations. We're going to be at plus 72 as our resting point. That is so bad for an ally. Plus 72 as a resting point. Oof, brutal. Brutal. Denmark wants help against Hoshtin. Wait, you didn't call in France? You call me in, but not France. What? Maybe he will call in France. No, he's not calling in France. He is not calling in France. You want me to fight Austria for you? Oh god, the Ottomans are eating Hungary. No! No, not no! Think of the hungry children. I made it funny. Oh, Ottomans. You guys are scary. He's two texts behind us, but he's still scary. Did you westernize? No. Russia, did you westernize? No. Poland, did you westernize? No. Why are you calling me in but not France? Does France have a truce with Austria? France has a truce with Austria, I see. Well, let me see your war. Who's in this war? Oh, that's easy. Sure, I'll join that war. What sucks about this is it means our exhaustion won't burn down on its own anymore, but it's already at zero anyway. It should be okay. I think. I hope. Oh, Hawaiian natives. Oh, wow, they died so quickly. Oh, France joined the war. I thought you had a truce with Austria. How did you join the war if you have a truce with Austria? What the fuck? How does that work? How did France join the war if he has a truce with one of the guys in the war? Oh, fucking AI hacks, man. It's not a defensive war, is it? No, it's an offensive war. Fuck if I know. I thought they couldn't join offensive wars if they have a truce. Defensive wars are different. Lost a claim on Jesselton. Kendall. Whatever. We can fabricate more claims. That was on Brunei. Yeah, that was on Kutai. We can fabricate more claims on... There's no rush. I'm more worried about keeping these rebels down. Coring all this shit. Let's get our stability up to to zero. Plus one soon. Yeah, it should be okay. 
Wow, Pasai's doing awfully well. They ate all of Ayutthaya. Look at that. And Orissa. I thought Orissa was going to collapse, but he seems to be hanging in there. Did you westernize? Nope. Did anyone westernize off Portugal? No, no one westernized off Portugal. Really? It's not a defensive war. All right, let me turn off my merchant view. This view is just so messy with merchants in here. Get out of here. It's a little better. Hungary will cede Serbia, Maramoros, Maros, Temes, Bekes, Hunyad, Torontal, and Slavonia. Oh my god. GG, Hungary. And it looks like Leon is going to get free over here. Cool. I wonder if he could get some uh, Andalusian patriot or Andalusian nationalists as well, the Grenadian guys. That'd be kind of cool. They do still have revolt risk. It could happen. I can't support Andalusian nationalists. Oh, it'd be Grenadian nationalists. That's what I'm looking for. Gee, Grenadian nationalists. Twenty ducats. Uh, how about 15 ducats? Yeah. I can afford that, right? Yeah. Alright, so we have a little bit of a fleet here. Now, where do I want to put these guys? How are we doing in the Caribbean? Caribbean's good. Chesapeake? Chesapeake, good. Capital? Capital, real good. Where else are we transferring from? We're transferring from Ivory Coast. How's that looking? Ivory Coast is pretty good, but I think this is where we need more focus. There is a little bit of trade that we're not getting. Okay, that's not true. We're, we're not getting about 40% of the trade there, and we need more. If we're gonna push, if we're gonna push trade from Asia through the Ivory Coast, then we need more strength on the Ivory Coast. A lot more. Okay, you just stay there. Tyro nationalists look like they want to spawn. That should be okay. I'll let them spawn. We'll kick their ass. Who? Holy shit. I cannot pass up that much money. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of money. All right, I'm going to go eat Cornwall because he's got no allies, no defender of the faith. So many money. So many money. I think I'm going to hold off building any more trade fleets until we've teched up again. Because the next tech gives us the new trade ships. Yeah. You know what we could do is we could upgrade some of our trade fleets with all this cash. Nah. Nah. I can't believe how much money that was. It was 50 Diplo or 4,000 ducats. I can't pass up 4,000... I just can't pass up 4,000 ducats, you know? You found my weakness, game. You found my weakness. I can't pass up on 4,000 ducats. And that, that was with no inflation. Oh, Burgundy's in this war. Oh! Burgundy's in this war. So if Flanders can siege Gandhi, then maybe we can give him his core back. Oh, I heard that. I heard that. I gotta log in to see what that was. That was... Bawo! Welcome, Bawo!
France, are you not able to fight this war? It looks like France is getting wrecked. Where's your army, France? Oh, France is carpet sieging Austria. He's like, you know, guys, this war would be a lot easier if we just push Austria out of the war. It's a very smart move by France. I'm not used to saying that, but the AI actually is doing something smart. If he sieges up Vienna and all this shit here, Austria will peace out like that. So quickly. Alright, come on up. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Kick some ass. Kick some ass and titties. Tyrone nationalists are going to spawn. That's fine. Portuguese Mexican nationalists. Now those guys, I may want to put an army down there to keep them under control. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Yeah, I probably should. I'll probably take these two stacks and move them over here to keep them down. We can also get our stab up. Let's do that. And let's go back to coring shit. So many cores. So little time. Oh, our colonists arrive in Nootka. Nice. Holy shit. Navarran nationalists. Castile has like no army. I really hope they explode. That'd be so pretty. Especially now that we have a province here, we'd be able to fabricate on them and just fuck them up. All the little guys that explode. That's fun. There you go. Siege of Cornwall. Very nice. Rebels in Canucks. Well, perfect. We had an army there. All good. So France's tactic seems to be to distract the enemy with a bunch of little battles in his homeland. And then at the same time, just siege the enemy's homelands. This is an interesting tactic. He's actually almost done sieging Vienna. He's just got this army over here distracting him with battles. And he's sieging Austria down. So if he can get this stuff sieged down, Austria will definitely peace out of the war. This is just an interesting... I like this. Now these guys I don't want to spawn, do I? St. Martin, Maguana. Actually, maybe this is okay. That's up here, right? Possum, Cook, Penobscot. That's probably fine. If, if English rebels spawn here, that's probably fine. Yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll ferry some troops over there to keep them down. But I'm okay with fighting some rebels. Our manpower is massive, so... Fighting Rebels is good for us, really. Wait, what? Oh. Don't have enough cannons. Okay. Well, that'll do. Get on the boat and tell me that you love me. I'll get on the boat and tell you I love you, too. Just go dump them in Micmac. Keep those 30 guys there. You can fight whatever rebels spawn over there. And we already have dudes on these provinces. And there is a chance that rebels will spawn on these two provinces. So we already have dudes there. Should be okay. Unless they spawn like 40 guys. Hmm. Look at Corsica. What about Corsica? Oh, yeah. Good job, France. <laughs> Derp! You know what he's doing? He's he's coaxing Napoleon to spawn. He really wants Napoleon to be born. He can't wait. He's got that Napoleon itch. 
that only Gold Bond medicated can cure. Okay, another 10 ships for Ivory Coast. Did I not take Galicia? No, we took Grenada instead. Come on, where's my transports? There you are. Yep, France is getting sieges done. Austria is not challenging any of these sieges. This is hilarious. 700 ducats or 10% more trade efficiency for 10 years. Well, since I just got four grand, I guess I'll take the trade efficiency. There goes Ostmarch. Yeah, this is a great idea, France. But then again, he's not the war leader, so he can't push Austria out of the war. Denmark's the war leader. Denmark's the one who ultimately, ultimately decides whether or not Austria stays in the war. I'm under attack from Guinea. Oh. Utrecht apparently had two transports. Oh, he's got dudes over here. What the fuck? Okay. Why, are, why is Utrecht in Africa? Why is Utrecht in Africa? No, Utrecht, no. Why are you doing this, Utrecht? What the? France has declared war on Pasai? What? What's going on? Oh, Pasai has declared war on Brittany. Hey, nice. Oh, Pasai, you should have westernized first, dude. Ah, oh, shit. Portugal's up here. Whatever. Let them have it. So Portugal's going to spawn an Alaska colony. That's probably fine. We'll go eat it later on. Nom, nom, nom. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, Prussia. They just lost another war. Intercolonial trade. Ooh, mercantilism. I like mercantilism. How are we doing on mercantilism anyway? 45, nice. Provincial trade modifier plus 90, that's so good. Vinish peasants, now those guys I'm not happy about. Ugh. Those guys I will harsh treatment. That is a serious problem. These guys, not so much. Mmm, a little bit of a problem with Portugal. Because some of this is islands, right? The Maldives, Gilbert Islands. I don't want to fight on the islands. Although I could. I mean, the islands aren't that bad. I do have a stack of 27 over. No, I guess the islands are fine. I mean, some of these rebels I'm okay with spawning. Some of them I'm not. Gotta pick your fights. Is that Vienna about to fall? That's Vienna about to fall. Come on, fall, fall. 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 Damn it. He failed again. That's like five times in a row at 42%. Yay, cores. All right. Government change? Let's do it. That negative 0.05 to autonomy is really, really important. Because it means we're going to get a lot more income and manpower out of our lands a lot sooner. But the problem is we're going to get rid of our lowered revolt risk modifier. And I really like that lowered revolt risk modifier. You know what? I'm going to delay it again. I hate to delay it again, but I'm going to do it. We'll keep coring stuff for now. Oh, I really want to change government types. But we still have revolt risk that i got to deal with.
Yeah, we have a long way to go to finish out covering all of North America. But we're getting there. Making progress. Progress. Come on, kick his ass. Finish the siege. Finish. Finish. Yeah! And another core comes in. Good. God, we have so much to convert. I cannot wait for the next idea, because it's plus three to missionary strength. It'll make it so much easier to convert everything. Alright, get relations back up with Ruska. Just wait until absolute monarchy? Yeah, but that's, you know, many, many techs ahead. That's six techs away. Yay, Grenada has cord. Alright, on the boat you go, and let's go take care of these Portuguese, whatever they are over here. The derp team. The Portia derp. Strange that the English Patriots, they got to 90 and then they're not spawning. They're just refusing to spawn. They're like, nah, we're good. We're good. Thankfully, Cornwall is a one base tax, so this increased coring cost isn't going to hurt that much. Uh, we got discovered supporting rebels in Castile. Darn. Oh well. He does still have a little bit of revolt risk, but it's almost gone. His war exhaustion is gradually dropping. Yay, cores! Yay, Catalonian nationalists! Yay, Cornwall fell! Get in my belly! Delicious. So the advantage of taking Cornwall for myself instead of giving it to Scotland is this allows me to fabricate on Brittany, France, England, all that stuff. It's good times. And besides, it looks pretty. Our Vinish color is beautiful. It's like we took the Norwegian color and improved it. Is that Kiev? Oh my god, Kiev is invading Poland. Kiev, what are you doing? It's kind of weird to see Kiev and Ruthenia at the same time. Yay, we cored Micronesia. Go us. More cores. Oh my god, the list of cores is almost gone. We're almost done coring. Almost. The wall of corn belongs to Shen. Yes, it is the wall of corn. <laughs> okay, Scotland's ready to annex. He's at plus 200 relations. Um, do I want to keep feeding him England, or do I want to core the rest of England myself? I may want to core all this myself. There's not that much base tax here. In fact, his total cost... I could just vassalize England. Now there's an option. Do I want to do that, though? Hmm. I could just vassalize England. He only costs 96. I think I will. Religious tensions. Oh, shit. Oh, local taxes. That's fine. Who cares about local taxes? The Ottomans are improving relations with us. Really? Ooh. Now, this is weird. Like, at this point, why hasn't Denmark pieced out Austria? Surely Austria wants peace. Austria is getting absolutely raped by France over here. He's not even trying to defend his homeland. He's just like, fuck it. Where the hell's Austria's armies? You know, I, I don't even see Austria's armies on the map. They, they're just gone. Maybe France killed him. But he's not defending his homelands. His capital fell. Why is he not getting pieced out? Probably because of stupid bullshit. Let's get relations up with Flander. And yay, Flanders is sieging the province I told him to siege. Good.
What's my vassal's liberty desire? I can show you. The highest one is 27. That's Yig Plata. And that's because we just had an event that raised it by 10 to give me one mercantilism. Totally worth it. Hello, Derp Squad 000. Well, we're at 40 minutes. I kind of feel like we should end this episode here. Yeah, let's go ahead and wrap this up. We'll come back next time where we're going to be finishing up all of these cores. I'll consider changing our government type to uh, get some autonomy decrease going on. But I also need to get this next idea so that we can start converting stuff much faster. That's going to be such a huge boon for us. And holy crap, this inflation's nuts. We may go economic next. We may go economic next just to get that inflation reduction, because this is nuts. We have so much gold coming in from the colonies, from fleets. We get fleets of gold just flowing in from the colonies, and it gives us so much inflation, it's nuts. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. We are stabilizing after that last wonderful group of annexation. We also took Cornwall, which is fantastic. Uh, we'll call it uh, Delicious Corn. Because corn's delicious, in case you didn't know. Anyway, come back next time, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, boys and girls. God, my brain is so fucked up today. Bye-bye. <laughs>